What's up, Cal Gang? All right, so we got some physics problems here. All right, so it says you push a physics book 1.5 meters across the table. Uh, you know, a physics book is a lot of weight, so that's going to be a lot of force. Uh, so it says you do 2.4 newtons of uh, force pushing it this way, and the friction force is 0 0.6 newtons. Um, and it wants us to know um, how much work does each of the following do on the book. All right, so how much work do you do with your 2.4 push? So let's go ahead and draw a little force body diagram. I don't know if we need it on this one, but it'll probably be useful. So here's force applied, here's force of friction, here's force of gravity, and force of normal. Okay, so force applied is 2.4 newtons, and it wants to know how much uh, work we do with that. So work is equal to force times distance, right? So if we uh, know how much work, or if we were trying to find how much work we do, so we can say the work from our applied is equal to the force that we applied, so 2.4 newtons, times the distance that we push it, right, 1.5. And that number is going to come out to be um, 33.6. Okay, actually, okay, so that's one way you can do it. I'm going to show you a more advanced way to do it, because as you do it this way, you're going to find that there's limitations. So another thing you can add to this equation is cosine of theta. And this theta is basically the angle that is being pushed at. So we're looking at the, the motion of force as the positive being this way, right? We're seeing that we're pushing it, and that's like positive force, and any force being pushed against is going to be negative force. So we can say that work now, work applied, is equal to the force, which is again 2.40, distance 1.5, and then cosine of theta. But cosine is going to be zero, right? Because we're looking at the angle of positive being this way, it's going to be zero degrees. This is just the right way that we're going. Cosine of zero is equal to one, so it's going to give us the exact same number, 3.6 joules. So that's for part A. Um, I'm going to write that over here. Erase this. Okay, I'm going to start again. Okay. Okay, next part. So, what, how much does the friction do, right? So, same thing. Work of the friction is equal to the force of the friction, so 0 0.6 newtons, times the distance, it's going to be the same, it goes 1.5. But this time, cosine of theta, the cosine, instead of being going this way, it's a whole 180 degrees around, right? The friction is going the opposite direction, which is 180 degrees. And you'll notice that cosine of 180 is equal to negative 1. So what this is going to do is it's going to give us negative 0.9 joules of force. Uh, I don't know if it's asking for magnitude or what. Uh, how much work does each of the following do? Yeah, okay, so that's, that's right. Uh, the normal force, okay. How about this, normal force? Okay, let's, I'm just going to do this over here. So the normal force is equal to the force of the normal. Uh, so let's see, how much does this weigh? Uh, it doesn't tell us, but basically, so we can say the force, uh, we don't know this yet, times the distance. But the distance that it moves in the positive or negative direction is zero, right? It doesn't go anywhere, so that means that there's no distance covered. But actually, that's not true. Uh, another way you can do it is you can say distance, but it's also going to be cosine of 90, right? You can say, you could do this either like either logic you want to use works for this. But um, right, the force that we're looking at is this way. And the force normal is a total 90 degrees difference, right? And cosine of 90 is equal to zero. So it's going to be zero joules. Uh, you can think of this as it's not moving up or down, so there's no distance being moved. Uh, it's just if it's perpendicular to the motion, there's going to be no, uh, no, you know, no work done by that. So work of normal is equal to zero joules. Uh, and we can, we can go back to work force of gravity, right? Let's think about force of gravity. That cosine is going to be 270. It's going to be pushing down. Uh, cosine of 270 is also equal to zero. Uh, also, there's no distance being moved by gravity. It's flat on the surface. So work of gravity is equal to zero. And then total work being done on this. OK, so if you want to find total work, what you're going to do is you're going to take all of them and sum it up. So it's going to be 3.6. Minus 0 0.9 plus 0 plus 0. Of course, that's going to give you 2.5, right? No, 2.7 joules. That's the total work being done. Yep, that's it. All right, so that's how you do these kind of problems. Just uh, learn your workforce distance formula, cosine of theta, and yeah, good luck on your physics homework, guys.